Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about Love by Erica, the Mucker, the Crier, and Latoya. First, I would like to say this is my opinion, y'all, so don't get mad. I just have to say, Erica, you knew that man didn't want you. When we first saw him in the video, he looked very uninterested. All of the subscribers even mentioned it. But Erica was all smiles while he was all frowns in those videos. The only video where he looked interested in her is the one where they went out to eat. The mucker started off being her realtor. I'm about to play a clip of Mucker speaking about how he came to try to pick up Erica after Damien left her. Me. Don't really know me like this. <laughs> she called me, crying on the phone, frantic. He left me up here. He left me up here. So she called a stranger. I'm like, who? What are you talking about? I, I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. But it's just a woman on here just crying her tears out. And I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Luckily, I was already heading um, the direction that she was actually at. Me knowing that she have um, she have a child and she said she's stranded somewhere, I went to go help. So she sent me an address. Still got those, by the way. I'm gonna um, upload that to the next video. She sent me the address to Seven Coves Resort. I get there, I drive there, take me about 35, 45 minutes to get there. When I get there, she have a key in her hand and it's a car key in her hand. And I was like, I thought you were stranded. Well, whose keys were those? So that was a lie, she wasn't stranded. But what's more interesting is when I actually went inside. Wow, isn't that crazy? We seen that video, right? Damien and her was at the resort and here we are feeling very much sorry for her because we thought that Damien was doing her so wrong. However, Mucker lets us know what was really going on behind the scenes. Erica knew what she was doing by calling Mucker. Let's listen to this clip. I'm at this nice ass resort that I did for this man. <laughs> look, look at this, y'all. <laughs> look. It's his ass. And anybody else that want him, y'all can have him. She wanted a relationship with him. However, he just wanted to be popular on YouTube to make more money. Do I believe what Erica is saying about him? Yes, I do. I believe that he did put his hands on her. I believe she wanted to make the relationship work. She saw this man as a come up just as she saw Damien as a come up. So she did what she had to do. She got pregnant by both of these men. As you can see, a pregnancy doesn't keep a man. Sometimes it just pushes a man further away. Yes, I know it's the man's fault as well. Most men do not think when it comes to the S word. They can only think about one thing at that time. But how did Erica actually get pregnant by Mucker if she was on birth control? Did she lie and tell him she was on it and taking them, but she wasn't? I can say I think Mucker is a manipulator or a narcissist. He does seem like the type to say all the words you want to hear to get what he needs to get about you. If the mouth doesn't line up with the hands and feet, then you know that the relationship is not right. Basically, actions speak louder than words. Erica is a liar. I can't believe she lied on Damien about abuse just to stay in a relationship with the Mucker. You are not as innocent as I thought you were. No man, and I mean no man, would make me lie on my child's father about abuse. Who does that? You have lied about so much stuff that people find it hard to believe you. Erica, it is not that much love in the world to lie about Mr. Cryer abusing you. She was definitely desperate. I feel like Erica has a good heart, but if you get on her bad side, she will definitely expose you. If you're dating her, you better be prepared to get recorded and exposed. Another thing is she really seems obsessed with LaToya. The hatred for LaToya is very real. I can't say I blame her because I would probably not like her myself if she took two of my baby daddies away from me. I think Erica needs to get some kind of therapy. LaToya was the first to send Mucker a message, so I believe she definitely wanted to try to be in a relationship with him. Did y'all see the text she sent Mucker? Every time she talked to him, she mentioned LaToya. I know she wanted confirmation, but dang, that would for sure run the man away. LaToya was running Erica crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if the baby came out looking like her. Another thing I wanted to mention is how Erica said that Mucker called her stupid and stuff. However, she said things worse than him. She called him the F word and told him she was dead. I mean, he was dead to her. 
Shaking my head, they were both toxic. Two people that are toxic are not going to work. Y'all, let's talk about her trying to keep Mucker out of his child's life. I actually hate when women do that. Here we are thinking the Mucker didn't want to help, but she is the one blocking him from helping her. In addition, she knew she wasn't going to get an abortion. She had her son in the car with her. Can children even go to the clinics? I don't even think they can, especially during COVID. She may have went there just to sit in the car to see what Mucker had to say about it. I don't know, y'all. It just doesn't make sense. Let's listen to this clip. So he asked me how I was doing, how I was feeling. And I actually told him that I was sitting outside of the abortion clinic because it's like his demeanor was kind of different. Like he was like playing nice. Of course he's going to play nice because he wanted you to get rid of the baby. Um. Also, I got Dion in the back seat, so I'm not trying to wake up Dion with any foolishness. All I got to say is I wonder what Latoya is thinking now. I mean, she already knew about the fight, so she probably doesn't even care. I wonder if she going to speak out. The same way Erica came up off Mr. Cryer, the mucker came up off of her. Just face it, everybody came up off Cryer. Latoya, Erica, and Mucker. They should all thank him. What are y'all thoughts on this situation? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.